Having done one demonstration of hedgerow today, let's have a let's see what we can do in a bit of ink. I'm using this this new cheap number three bigger. So let's have a see what sort of mess we can get in here. So we'll put in a bit of path here, but let's just just gently Put something in. Let's just get some. Some black on. Mm -hmm. Just let the brush flick around before we start to mod do the great modelling. Come across here. We're going to have our sort of path coming around here. Trust. So just now, this is a Fabriano, and it's a fairly well. It's, it's not smooth, but it's if you if you overload the brush with ink, it will flood into the hollows, which has happened there. But it doesn't matter. I mean. We're just making marks on paper at the moment. Uh, you can do as much of this as you like. It's always a bit risky when you're doing doing this. It's a bit easy to uh, carry it away. Well, you've got all sorts of stuff in. Hedgerows, you even have um, it's a fence post. When you do fences, don't show the whole the whole lot. Just bits here and there. Right, make sure you keep your brushes nice and wet. Otherwise, a lost brush. Make a bit more of this up here. Let's sort of fill in some of this with a bigger bit of bit of trunk, bigger tree.
just overdo it. Just making one just more dominant than the others. So we just have to cut our losses with this, there. Mm. I might even go over that with a bit of uh, white mixed with a colour. A bit of gouache. Very similar to what I did earlier really, just move the, the, the focus over a little bit. Sort of blue yonder. Okay. Right. Well, that is doing. Let's. Uh, I'll just give that a dry. Just hold, uh, take your headphones off. Right. While that's going off. Get my other palette here that's left of it with John Paul mucking about the paints on it. I'll just see if I can, uh, with a smaller brush, I can just open up some of that black. So, with a bit of uh, white gouache, which I've got on this large tray, just loosen it. My gouache has gone almost dry. So, a bit of, bit of yellow, a raw sienna. A bit of lemon yellow. And that's all we can. Just open it up a little bit with some colour.
bit cheating really, but it just adds just a little bit of character to it. I'm just using a bit of the gouache on some lemon yellow here. go back over that if I wish. Right, it's just taking the sting out of that black. Right, okay, let's let's get in with our wash now. Let's clean my brushes a little bit. Get them nice and clean. Okay, move my I keep the water separate from the, the, the ink water separate from the from the watercolour water. Okay, let's uh, now I have to be careful about that now because it'll wash off if I am not careful. So we'll, we'll we'll wash most of it with a bit of water. Okay, so we'll put in a bit of so this is really essentially a, a drawing just keep it nice and nice and light and loose Streak across the middle, right? Well, I do like my movement in the sky. Right, let's just reclip it now. and a bit of ultra so let's have a bit of distance here we can put some Now we can go in with a bit of bit of nice green, just a lemon yellow, a bit dirty from the last painting, a bit of paint grey. Try not to disturb the the gouache bit. I need to put in something on that, so I'll just a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of a bit of blue, a bit of green on the blue side. Oh, 
Okay, so that gives a bit of a, a lift to that. So put a hair on there. Look. And we'll put our path in. Let's have a bit of burn up for our track. Okay, I'll give that a dry, take your headphones off. So that it's got a bit, a little bit wide there, so I'm just going to reduce the the size of that path on that horizon there. And I'll just do that by Okay, that that will do. No, no more than that. Now I'm going to use a round brush and, and just put in some some greeny stuff, greeny leaves, spring greens. On the shadow side, a bit, bit darker. Dark on one side and the shadow side. And so this is completely come off. Right? Right, that will do. I'll just dry that off and I'll just go in for some more branches. It's a bit more warm in it, so I've just put a bit of, bit of sienna in the hedgerow. Show something going on in the background there. Foreground. Right, rig up. I'll clean the brush.
just to justify putting those clumps of wash. Just a busy little hedgerow. Okay, they're always good to have a figure. And red that shows up quite a bit. But maybe not, not quite there. That's a bit of tissue. I always forget to take lift out a bit of the, of the background so that I can see my head. Well, not my head personally, but. have your figures walking into the painting. Want a dark blue there for jeans. Keep your, your head small, not too small that they're non existent, but a bit darker on the other side, I think, on the shadow side, and a bit, a bit of shadow. Points late afternoon. Oh, it's okay. Late afternoon, isn't it? Just sign it. Put it in the mount. Now it's just a it's just a quickie. Well, I hope it's a quickie because I've wasted a bit of time. I've never the last one. I've just been in the afternoon often. Maybe because I, I, I did some paint work this morning. Not a lot, but not used to it. Well, there, 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 I don't look too bad with that, really, is it? I'm reasonably happy with that for, for a, a, a very sketchy sort of painting. Let's uh, bring you round and move the camera and you can, we can all have a look. Uh, so there we are, another walk in a Kent lane. I think the rougher the better personally. The more spontaneous that it looks, the more, I don't know, it adds a bit of mystery. You can put all sorts of things in make it your own. But I like the sky, it's quite bright, so we could call it a late afternoon stroll in Kent. <laughs> Something like that. Anyway, enjoy your weekend. See you next week. Bye bye.